Un, de toi. Over the days leading up to Christmas, I will be making 12 cocktails inspired by the classic carol, 12 Days of Christmas. I'll be teaching you how to make the cocktail and the reason why I chose it to represent this day in the song. You are not going to want to miss a single moment of the 12 Days of Drinkmas. Welcome back, it's Francis Mack, and on the third day of Drinkmas, my true self gave to me three French hens. I am proudly Canadian, and French is one of the official languages of Canada. So this lyric in the carol hits a little closer to home for me, which is why I've chosen a cocktail that is a classic Christmas drink, and also one of my family's personal favorites. And that's eggnog. And of course, my first thought was hens, eggs, eggnog. But the explanation I gave before is way better in my eyes. I mean, if you look at my eyes, you can truly see I am Canadian. Think about it. Think about it. She is fucking high right now. You thinking? This is normally part of the video where I explain a little bit of history of the drink or provide you with some type of fact. The fact. Wonderful fact. And unfortunately, the history of eggnog is just way too large for me to try to boil down into a concise and simple sentence that I don't see it being possible for this video. But actually the history of eggnog is pretty cool and I would highly encourage you go look it up for yourselves. However, I am going to share with you some personal history I have with this cocktail. My parents drink eggnog every year. My dad especially loves it. Every holiday season, we will find eggnog in our fridge. And when I was a kid, I was anti-eggnog. I called it pancake batter without the flour. It did not appeal to me at all. But as I got older, 19 years plus, because that is the legal drinking age in Canada, unless you were in Quebec, which the legal drinking age is 18. And let me tell you, I have experienced Quebec at 18. Whew. I mean, it's a rite of passage. Can we get to the goddamn point, please? I actually now enjoy a good old rum and eggnog during the holidays. <laughs> to make this cocktail or drink, whatever makes you more comfortable to say, you are going to need rum, eggnog, and our good friends, a glass and ice. That's all you need, normally. But this is a three French hens eggnog. So we gotta step it up a bit more of a notch. You will also need French brandy, cinnamon, nutmeg, a jigger, and a spoon. Now let's make this cocktail. To make the three French hens eggnog, you will need to measure out one ounce of rum and one ounce of French brandy into your selected glass. You can either add your ice now or your eggnog now. I like to add the ice and then pour over top the eggnog just to make sure I know my desired level of where I want the drink fully to sit at the end. You will stir the cocktail to combine all the flavors together with your spoon. You can either use a bar spoon or if you don't have a bar spoon, a regular spoon will work. Once you're finished stirring it all together, top it off with a dash of cinnamon and a dash of nutmeg. And that's it. It's simple as that. We have finished making our three French hens eggnog. Topped off with cinnamon and nutmeg to give it that extra level of spice. You can of course leave it on top as is, or if you're like some people in my life, you want to mix it in so it's all nice and evenly incorporated. So it won't be evenly incorporated because it's spice and this is a cold drink so it will form in clumps as it's doing so right now. But even if it is in clumps, it's not going to affect the delicious taste of this drink. I almost forgot to say cheers! Cheers! Yes, perfect.
It's got enough of the delicious sweetness of from the eggnog already, but then you get that extra level of kick from the brandy we added into it. So many more depths than what you were expecting with plain old eggnog, which again, no hate, we've been doing plain old eggnog and rum in my house for years, but this definitely elevates it to a nice finishing touch. Mm. Right, I need to end. Thank you for watching the third day of Drinkmas. If you like this video, please give it a like. Comment below if you are going to try this version of eggnog during the holiday season. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you are reminded when the next day of Drinkmas goes live on my channel. I can't wait to find out what my family thinks of this new version of an old favorite because I like it. And as always, thanks for playing.